My two committees are Environment and Public Works, which is on the Transportation Staff and all that, and the Senate Armed Services Committee. Tom is one, of course, being a doctor. He gets to know the health issues and all that. So between the two of us on the Senate side, we cover this, cover this pretty well. Uh, and just a, a couple of comments about what we're going through right now, and I, I won't go into uh, the, the long, if there were time, I would and talk a little bit about what this hysteria is on global warming, but I won't do that. Uh, I only mentioned that uh, I just got back. One of the bad things that's happening right now is that the, uh, the new president, Obama, came out with his, uh, with his budget, and it just decimates the, uh, the military, and that's, that's my major concern right now. In fact, I just did a thing on the floor, and I'm going to do something with Fox News through the new hour. Um, um, <coughs> and I, I can be specific, you know, if anyone doesn't believe that, give me a chance to present the case because I'm going to be spending it quite a disordered amount of time trying to go that. And it does have some ramifications in Oklahoma, and uh, we have our five major military installations that would be severely damaged if they're able to cut. This, the budget that's coming out of the White House now is the largest that just increases by dimensions we can't even think, except for military. That's the thing. So with that, any questions you guys want to ask me? Tell me about uh, this health care initiative that Obama's trying to silently force through with this budget. Okay. All right. <coughs> what he's doing, and it's not many people are really aware that that's, uh, that that is in there. Yeah, and uh, if you remember, there's some similarities, and you guys were born then, but back in 1993, uh, some things happened there that, that uh, caused a total reversal in the in, in the uh, legislature in the uh, House and the Senate. Uh, and what is happening today in the Obama administration is exactly what was happening in 1993. I'm really this more to you guys than the kids here, uh, because at that time. Uh, if you look at what he was trying to do in 1993, it's exactly what they're trying to do now uh, in terms of the decimation of the, uh, of the military. And uh, that's, he did it in 1993, and he tried to, they're trying to get him now. Uh, abortion, the big issue, gun control, all these things are exactly what was tried in 1993. Now, what happened in 1993 in healthcare? Back then it was called Hillary Healthcare. Now, this is something that is going to establish a bureaucracy to oversee and run the health care of the system of America. The biggest problem we have in health care now is that we have had, for the last 20 years, non-medically trained bureaucrats making medical decisions. Uh, and and it's, it's going to get a lot worse because they're talking about micromanaging our system because our system doesn't work. Uh, <coughs> so they have, they have the first step put into the budget to do that, let's keep in mind that the budget is nothing but a recommendation by the president. And on these things, on the military, for example, we have the House Armed Services Committee, the Senate Armed Services Committee, I'm the second ranking member of the Senate Armed Services Committee. I positioned myself in Afghanistan when Gates made his announcement about the military because I knew announcing my objection to it from over there would get a more pitch. So you have, and, and when you talk to Senator Colbert, have you ever done that? Or is that no. like, well, that's the question you want to ask him because he's really into that and he's going to be in the lead on that as opposed to me. Because no. from a kid, the committee perspective. Isn't Colbert trying to sneak some stuff through in this budget to get this kind of pre approved or fast track? Oh, yes. Yes. And it's kind of an underhanded move as well. Well, but you look in this budget and the underhanded move, that move uh, is. Is there on, on everything that is in what I call the extreme liberal agenda. I know it doesn't sound flattering to say that, but that's what we've got. If you look at what Obama said during his inaugural speech, I applaud it. Everything was in there. And I was, they have a signed seat. You guys don't know this, but my assigned seat is next to Mark Fox all the time because uh, I'm the ranking member and she's the chairman of that committee. So we had to sit there and, and go through that. And I nudged her and I said, this guy's all right. She was just furious. He only divided, devoted one half of one sentence to low warming. She couldn't believe it. Well, and, and, and everything else, strong national defense, remember the words that he used at that time? It was all reversed in the next year. And so you have a situation where the extremes uh, are in 
charge. There is good news for conservatives about this, and I know it's a far reach, but this is what I'm going to be doing. If you want to come by at 12.30, I'll be talking live on, on uh, Fox News about what I think had happened yesterday with our inspector. What I said before our inspector made his announcement, which no one knew about until yesterday morning, I didn't know about it, um, is that this is the first visible evidence as to uh, an indicator of what happened in 1993 is going to happen again. And that is the people are so outraged by all these things. And you take them one at a time, everything that I mentioned, all the social issues, and the, the, the health care, uh, the military, that's exactly what happened back then. And you saw all the people start saying, wait a minute, this is, this is, this is still America. You don't believe that's not what we have to go for. So if you look at uh, six years ago, what happened to our inspector, a guy named Pat Toomey, ran against him. He was defeated in the primary. This time, the reason that our inspector did what he did is that his own polling shows he's 20 points behind in his own poster. This is his words to me. So this isn't just my speculation. His words were, my poster said, as a Republican, there is no way in the world you can be reelected. You have to do it as a Democrat. So this is position. And that's it. And, and, and what I'm saying is, this is the first indication that people have changed.